Today, I'm going to be surviving 100 days as Rimuru Tempest, and I'm going to become a supreme deity, or otherwise known as a god in the hardcore Tensurama. And I'm going to have to defeat all the bosses, amass an army so big that no one can defeat me, become a demon lord, and then even surpass that level of power and become a supreme deity. So, this is my story of how I survived 100 days as supreme deity Rimuru Tempest. Being Rimuru, you know what that allows me to have? A humongous stomach. So, I can do things like this. I do consume blocks, and I can just eat them all up. So, instead of mining, I can just absorb them since i have the predator skill it's a big workaround you know because even though you know i have this i'm still very weak i will have to use this to grind and get as many tools as possible you guys don't understand these bosses in this they are crazy i have to get very very prepared i now i just found a village this is very good and one thing i can do is command a goblin army that is going to be one of my first goals is to find a goblin village go in name a bunch of goblins and give them big sets of armor swords and make them all powerful just like me uh, i i I, I'm no, no. I, I, I think I'm, I'm a little too weak for you, dog. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here and. Uh, uh. Once I got down here, I realized doing my consume blocks is like using silk touch. So every time I do slash consume block, it gives me well stone. So I still needed a pickaxe to mine them to get cobblestone, so then I can advance my tools once more. After all that mining and exploring the village, it was already turning night. Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I might be Rimuru. I might be becoming the supreme deity, but uh, I, I ain't got any skills yet. I ain't prepared. You know what? I can take I take you on. I can take you on. Spider Jockey, it's okay. I got you. Yeah. Let, let me suck oh. you. Oh, yeah. Let me let me get you in there. Yeah. Oh, what's in here? Oh, buddy. Okay. Villagers just all giving me offerings out here for real, for real. Day two. I knew my goal here was to get some more iron. Try and get full iron armor and to, well, some more iron tools. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Normal mining. YouTubers, when they say I'm going to do some mining off camera. Borrow these. You don't mind, right? So now it's day three. I decided I wanted to get some magic. I have no magic under my belt other than Predator and, you know, Great Sage. So I decided I want to get water manipulation from the show. Rimuru gets water manipulation as one of the very first things to start shooting water blades. So I knew that was what I wanted to do. So I found myself a big water source and well, got in. I typed slash consume water and I got the grind. To get wa water manipulation, there is three ways to do so. One, use with a greater water spirit. Won't be able to do that for a while. Two, you know, plundering. And three, consuming 6,400 water source blocks. I had been grinding already for a couple minutes and I only had 688. This is going to take a couple days. So after three days of consuming water, I finally, finally unlocked water manipulation. I got three skills with water manipulation. So first we have water current control. Then we have hydraulic pulsion, which that, that one's really fun. And then we have water blade. So I'm going to put water blade as my second ability. So boom, there we go. Second skill, water blade. So what that lets me do is, well, send a water blade. So now I can just, I can just destroy everything with this crazy ability. So it's an infinite ability, but it does very, very low damage. So, you know what? Let's test it out on something really quickly. So now I'm coming up on two test subjects. I'm just going to hit them once. So one water blade does does three damage so as you can see it's not really that strong but with the ability to spam it it's pretty overpowered for the current situation yeah let's just destroy these two yep such a hassle oh now oh, wait can i do i have the molecule mount to name you yet i want to do slash name yes it worked i have named this orc orc sama uh yeah why americanized version of orc sama E, brother. E. But with having, you know, now a follower, someone that can uh, be under my wing, I can go into their inventory, give them things, give them armor. For, so, for example, I can give him a stone axe, and that will allow him to use it and have higher damage. But it's best to just put a sword here. Eventually, when I go mining later, I will then have the ability to get him some armor. So then he'll be as strong as me. Well, not as strong, but as close as it gets. There we go. Woohoo! Oh, that was anticlimactic. Oh, what time it is? Boom blocks time. No, no. This can't be this can't be orc no oh my orc no i'm 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 going to get revenge now that is not gonna slide no nah, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna go i'm just gonna yeah yeah water blade water blade water blade yeah but what are you gonna do about it now huh we're gonna do about it now you can't do nothing you know what i'll even come close combat for you I, you know I'll, I'll do it you know what i'll do it i'm ready let's do this boom you're gone no orc sam how could he you are my only friend. You will forever be missed, Orksama. I will make you a grave. After killing the Temperous Serpent, I realized I gained some new skills. Once I went into my skill 
free, I realized I unlocked Noxious Breath, Heat Sense, and I had Poison Resistance. So this allowed me to get a step stronger. I put Noxious Breath as one of my skills. I was going to put Heat Sense as a skill, but then I realized it's not as worth. So I had a new skill. So time to test out my new skill. Oh, so now I can poison my enemies. This is going to be a great asset to me. My subordinate took a big loss for me to get a big gain. Now it's time to sleep. Subordinate loss. I will, I, you know what? I'll build you a grave in my house. I wasn't going to let this slide. Losing my first friend. I would, I, I'm, I'm dedicated now. I'm dedicated now. I'm going to become the Supreme Deity. I'm not even going to go just for Demon Lord. I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to become the most powerful one. No one will be able to withstand me. I gotta, I gotta pick this stuff up. I, I just, I, I can't. You know what? I, I'm going to, I'm going to make a chest and I'm going to put all this stuff in it to just remind me my dedication, why I need to become the Supreme Deity. I went back to the mine and I found lava. This would allow me to consume lava, get a step closer to getting fire manipulation. Now, of course, this one whole area was not enough to get me what I needed, but this would at least push me a step closer. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Hey, some diamond. Hey, hey, I'm not complaining. Oh, yes, let's go. This is something I was looking for. Hey, get out of my way, cobblestone. After coming on top of the lava source that I was just previously eating, I realized it was much bigger than I thought. And I only needed 640 blocks to consume to get fire manipulation. So I decided I was going to keep going. I was going to keep trying to consume as much as I could. And I realized being one block leveled with the lava would give me such a higher chance to get way more and to not have a chance to die. Because with my water manipulation and with my being of slime, it allows me to auto water myself like passively. I don't do it. The game does it for me or more of my skills do it for me so i can't catch on fire easily my only main concern is dealing with the cobblestone that gets placed by the water therefore causing me to suffocate bring most of the whole cave of lava i then had 640 blocks and i go to extra skills this shows i now have fire manipulation so i went and put fire manipulation uh, and replace it with water blade so now i can shoot fire so now i can uh go in between the two skills when i want to use to attack so I have fire, I have water, and now I have poison. After a killing a creeper, I unlock black lightning. What is that, you may ask? It's another skill. So if I go check my skills, I can put black lightning where fire manipulation is, and now I have the ability to shoot black lightning. So now I had an even more powerful skill. After getting a decent amount of minerals, I went up back to my base and realized it was day 14, but it was all worth it. I had a ton of magic ore. I had gold, I had copper, I had iron and lapis and even diamond. So what I needed to do next was smelt all my magic ore to allow me to get some magic steel ingots, which I need to get magic steel shards, which I get from cooking yellow or any of the other magic ores, but I needed a blast furnace. I, I, I realized that very quickly. So I ended up looking around the village to see if I can find a blast furnace. So there was none. So I ended up having to craft one. After smelting all of my ores, I was finally able to start making the magic steel ingot. I'm going to go for that axe. The only reason is it deals high damage for its level. It is crazy strong. I mean, 10 attack damage. That's more than a diamond sword. And as you see, I have been increasing my magic kill amount for my max magic kill amount by using my two new types of skills. Day 16, I decided I wanted to move. I didn't want to be in this village anymore. So I went ahead and packed all my stuff up and went out for new land. Oh, uh, you again. You know what? I, I ain't even gonna, I, I gotta let you live. This is for my ally you've slain. Yeah. How's it feel being powerless? What you deserve oh another village let's go i can ransack it i mean i can borrow things like it's time to set off into the water super speed all right there we go my magic kill amount back up full now i'm able to go fight or maybe just see what uh this iron wants water propulsion oh oh wait wait no uh, it's pulling me in it's pulling me in uh, water propulsion pull me yes okay okay i can overpower it i can overpower it. i just don't want to use too much magic kills that's the only problem with this all right uh black lightning black lightning all right, venomous, ven venom, uh, breath, uh, my sneaky breath. I, I mean, I got great breath. You know what? We're going hand to hand. Yep. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, not again. So on day 20, I found two things. One was an otherworlder. If I kill him, I get a soul. I need over 10,000 souls to become a demon lord, but I need the demon lord seed first because without it, I need over 100,000 souls. And then there was a portal over there that basically replaces the nether. That is the underworld. And I will be getting to that. But now I just need to fight this other worlder to get me, well, a soul. So let's let's just get into it. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, I almost one shot him. Let's just use the magic there. And boom, I got myself a soul. Turning night, I ended up going into the underworld. There was many things I could collect in this area. Most importantly, I could get some blaze rods, allowing me to make some crazy healing potion for my coming boss fight. Get this. Easy. Wait, that gave me new new skills. I was not expecting that. So now I have combustion, so fire, and then I got molecular manipulation. I got black thunder. What? Day 25 and I needed to get myself some companions. I had two boss fights coming up that I really had to do. I don't think I would have been able to do it alone. So I searched for some companions. The two fights that I'm about to have to do are, first I have to fight Shizue and then I got to fight Ifri. And not long after having that little speech to myself, I realized there was a village not even but a minute away. So I ran around to be a nice place to set up camp since, well, I had no place to go. But stumbling around and exploring enough made me find this section of the village. Not knowing what it was, I went and checked. It was a goblin village. It was perfect. So after entering the village, I killed about four villagers, getting me six souls. And I found five goblins that I have now had under my control that are now my companions who fight with. I've distributed them food so they could heal. They had stone swords, but I wanted to upgrade their armor. So I was planning on mining. I also made one named Timmy because it looks exactly like Fusion Timmy. Like here, look at this side by side. Yeah. So in 10 days, so now we're on day 36. I got over two stacks of iron, 18 diamonds, 21 gold, bunch of redstone. I, I was stacked. I had magic ore. I did a lot of grind. So I went ahead and started smelting for the fight. And with all this gear, I was really ready to fight. But I also had some backup plan. With this grass right here, I can make uh, grades of basically instant health pots from the mod and from the show where I can make the highest percentage easily with this because I am Rimuru. So that is exactly what I did. I went ahead and made a brewing stand and I did that. Now with having all of my goblins kitted out with a katana, a shield and iron armor, along with one with their own goblin bat, which do, does insane damage, almost as close to the katana. I just wanted to let him, you know, let him use his own thing. So now my army is like completely ready. So there's one last thing I need to do. I want to go get the paralysis skill. So then when I do this fight, it will allow me to stun the enemy. So I have a higher chance of winning. Is this a village I see? Looks like it's time for some souls and to kill whatever you are. Oh, a dragon. Okay. Okay. I gotta be very careful. This can be a very intense fight very quickly. I was not expecting a dragon to be here. I, I was not expecting a dragon to be near, but let's go ahead and do this. Get some souls up. There we go. Game one salt. That was a witch with him? Okay. Oh no. It's here. Attacking. I, I have to fight back. This is the only way to win this. I, I, I can't let it just attack me like this. Oh my gosh. It's freezing me. I can't move. Oh, it is a strong opponent. This is probably the strongest we have fought. All right. I'm going to have to go around. Wait. Wait. If it's getting close enough. Yes. There we go. Yes. So it does do a lot of damage to it. It's just, he slows me so much that it's going to make it a hard fight. All right. Keep hitting you. I'm out of magic kills. No. All right. I can still use my, my water slicing. Ah, water blade. Oh no, I'm getting stuck. There we go. Okay, I, I gotta get out of his area. All of this is gonna get me. He's just holding above me. I got him halved. I got him halved. He's done nothing to me. He's just hurting my armor a lot. All right, I'm gonna have to, I, I might have to dig down. That might be my best shot. Nope, that's not helping. That's not helping. Oh no, I thought this was a good idea. This is not a good idea. Oh, okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I got a plan. I got a plan. I can dig out into an area like this. Then I can escape. All right. So, wait. Where did he go? There he is. Oh, all right. Water blade. I will not let something like this take me down. Not weak, but it's not strong enough. I have something stronger to fight. I have a greater... I have, I have the strongest fire spirit to fight. You think you can take me out? Yeah. Oh, there it is. The exact thing that I needed. I needed to find the evil centipede which has the ability to paralyze the enemy. So if I can get and uh, steal his skill by beating him, then I'll finally be ready for the first fight. All right, let's use black lightning. Let's throw some water blades. Keep distance, keep distance. I cannot let the paralysis breath hit me or it will be detrimental to me. Let's strike again. All right, yes, here we go. Oh, it's got me stuck. No, I don't know if I can hit him. There we go. I got hit. Let's go again. There we go. I now have paralyzing breath. This skill alone shall give me a higher chance to win this next fight. So I'm going to replace Water Blade with Paralyzing Breath. So with it be day 39 and with having Paralyzing Breath, having Black Lightning and Water Blade and my minion army, time to set off and find the first 
boss. With grabbing three of my goblin minions, I decided it's time to fight Shizue. Then I could fight Ifri, and then I would finally be through the first boss in the first stage. So I am I'm absolutely terrified. I might have five golden apples, 13, 98% healing potion, and a lot of food, but I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how strong these bosses are. I got my I got my abilities ready. I'm just gonna go into it. Let's go. Oh, I almost one shot her. Oh my they're all dead. Oh wait. no, 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 Goblin King, just stay away. I don't want you dying too. You know what? I can't take this. Ah, oh my gosh. You know what? You're immune to black lightning. Okay, okay, I need to reassess. No! Goblin King! Three of my companions down in one attack. I, I gotta reassess. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get water blade and switch with black lightning. There we go. Okay, now I might have a chance. Where are you at? There you are. Let's see. How much does this do? Wait, I'm missing. I'm missing. He keeps moving too much. Can this even hit him? No, he's spawning things. All right, it's time. Let's get up close. There we go. Yes, it's hitting him. Okay, so that deals damage along with melee. That's good to know. It's good to know. He's using salamanders. He's just attacking me with them. All right, by going for the melee, I have the highest chance. Oh my gosh. He just constantly has fire on me because he's, since he's a fire spirit, he's just able to constantly flame everything. I can keep spamming water blade and pushing him back. It deals all, it only deals like one damage. It might be low, but it's something. Cause he keeps staying so high up in the air. I can't get any melee on him. Oh, wait, yes, he's getting close. All right, I can get some big hits on him, big hits. Oh, I am demolishing with full diamond armor. Yes, no enchantments. This is going well, this is going well. You wanna keep going, bro? Nah, it's over. I'm, I'm gonna become a demon king and I'm going to become the supreme deity. Ain't nothing stopping me. Not, not one little itty bitty spirit. Yeah, yeah, I, I called you that. You know what? When I get him close, I'm gonna try. There's a second. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. One's enough. One's enough. I I'll stop the talk now. I'll stop the talk. I I'm, I'm no. I'm good. Paralyze your breath. No, it doesn't do anything to him. All right. I'm just gonna keep spamming my water blade and constantly try and force him in so I can get a close fight. Cause right now, ranged, he has the advantage. Wait, Shizui's actually trying to fight Ifri. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Look at that. What? Look. Yes, do it for me. Do it for me. Yes. You know what? I'll join in. I'll join in. We can deal damage together. This is oddly working together. Let's go. Let's go. That was surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. Um, do I have to fight you too? I I'm just gonna back away and act like um you were never here. So with defeating Efert and Shizue, I got multiple things. First of all, I got the anti-demon mask, which I will probably be wearing for most of this time. It's way stronger than diamond anyway, so definitely gonna have that so i'm gonna have that on i also have gained a lot of skills i have now ranged barrier magic so i i got some barrier magic which is really good i think i got fire breath too so i've gotten two new things from beating ifrit so now i'm even stronger this is getting me even closer we may have lost most of the village but we still have two of our goblins and most importantly we have Timmy the goblin after waking up that day, I realized something crucial. I had a magic heal boost and that my EP, which is basically like my power level, is insanely high from where I started. So I have become a long way, but I still had giant leap to go. My magic kills were not close to high enough. I needed to get, I needed to get a ton. I, I'm going to become a supreme deity. I need to up my stats tenfold, a hundredfold even. And I did not have enough souls to become a demon lord for being the next step even getting close to being a supreme deity so i knew i had a lot of work to do so i got to it name and i'm gonna name you ranga there we go i now have my direwolf ranga this is going to allow me to go across the world i can ride on his back and use him as a traveling so now i was one step closer to getting to my title of supreme deity I needed to go find the King Orc Disaster, so I was able to get the Demon Lord Seed. Also allowing me to get Gluttony, which is an overpowered ability. So I set off on Ranga. I went to find him. After about a few days, I realized something that I didn't get a lot of the skills that I was supposed to get from the Shizue boss and the Ifrit fight. So I decided to beat the other one and I got some crazy things. I ended up getting Hell Burnt Resistance. I also got a, a plethora of new skill. So I had black flame so i can now put black flame in my skill list and this is what it does it does crazy damage just like black lightning but it's the flame breath so not only having that 
I also gained Degenerate, which is another great ability to have on my side. The Degenerate skill allows me to combine two enchanted items and go past the vanilla limit. It also lets me fuse with Ifri and someone else, someone bigger, someone that can fly, someone you guys may know. What are you? All right, you know what? Time to show off my new crazy black flame. Yep. Oh, Matter Magic Skills, huh? Well, I got an axe. It is now day 60. I had gained a lot of magic kills. I had gained a lot of souls. I have done some grinding there, but I had found the orc disaster. I was finally able to fight the next boss. So I went around searching for him now that I've seen his health bar, knowing he was very, very close. Oh, oh, I just found him. But then the, the centipede had to attack me. All right, all right, all right. Now I got you out of the way. There he is. The orc disaster. He is spawning in so many orcs. Even orcs with armor. Okay. This is going to be a rough one. I did not bring any of my army with me. But it's okay. Because I am Rimuru. And I will become the supreme deity. Oh. I'm already out of magic kills. Wait. This isn't the orc disaster. Oh no. Oh no. I was wrong. It's a lot bigger than I thought. What do you mean by that? Oh no. I triggered the fight already. Well, I got one orc. I got my magic kills up. It, it, it's time to go in. It's now or never. Oh, he's hitting like a truck already. All right, I'm gonna need to use ranged attacks. There we go. Is that doing nothing to him? All right, all right, so black lightning, not a usable thing. Black flame works. Oh, black flame works really well. All right, I need to try. No, my subordinate. It's okay, it's okay. He, he wasn't gonna be much of an asset. Let's, let's, let's be honest. All right, all right, I'm gonna go in for another strike. I got to. All right, black flame, he's healing. Oh my gosh, he heals. He hits like a truck. All right, I'm gonna have to play this a lot. Oh, a lot more. Careful. All right, all right. So melee is really, really good. I gotta find some better magic to use against him. Oh God, he's got a whole army with him too. And then all these mobs all around. This is not good for me. I gotta just keep going in. He's already broke through my shield. It's already gone. Oh, he one shot my shield basically. Wow. All right. I guess we're just gonna have to start using the big guns. We're gonna go golden apple. We're gonna start black flaming, spam it a little, get it to do some damage. All right, all right, keep going in. I gotta get some hits in, because there's no way to win this without melee. Oh, almost half my hearts in one foul swoop. All right, you know what? I gotta go for them too. Keep black flame. The, the black flame is one of the best abilities. I could already tell. I'm so happy I got this. If I didn't get this before this fight, I don't know what I would have done. All right, if I can get some distance, I'm going to go get some more skills. I'm going to switch them out since Black Lightning. It does nothing to him. Like, watch. Nothing. What? It, it might even heal him. I, oh, okay. Okay, I got to get way more distance. There's so many mobs. My armor's almost... Uh, my armor's almost about to break. I, I have to play this very, very careful. All right, I got... I went for the OG, Water Blade. Since he used no magic kills, it doesn't do anything to him. All right, we're going to have to just go in. There's no other way to win this fight other than to just push. Oh, he's got me low. All right, healing. Oh, that was really close. I I, I was not expecting this to be so many levels above Ifri. I, I won't even lie to you. I, I expected something more tame, more calm. This guy is crazy. I, I'm just going to have to spam him. Keep going. If I can get him half, I think it's way more manageable. All right, golden apple time. I got him really close to half. I keep range attacking him with my... Black Flame? Does Water Blade really do nothing? Well, at least I can use it on the small mobs. Keep them away. Black Flame. All right. We got him a half. We got him a half. We're, we're making good progress. We're making good progress. Half or not, it's still... It's something. I, going to half was my first goal. No, he's breaking through my armor already. I have... Oh, this is many levels above my expectations. We're going to have to keep going. Let's go. Spam Black Flame. I can't let him heal. Oh, he's hitting like an absolute truck. Way harder than in any truck coon. Oh my gosh. He's so strong. He's healing already. All right. Maybe if I tactically keep just black flaming, don't go in for any more melee. As long as my magic kills can hold up, I think I'm good. This is working. This is definitely working. He seems to seems to be distracted. So as long as I can keep holding him here, black flaming and eating, I should be okay. Oh no, my magic kills is out. All right. I can keep him to a distance. Let my magic kills run back up and then I'll strike again. Can't let him heal too much. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. Black Flame. Oh, no, I missed. All right, there we go. Got another hit. He can't heal now. It seems the best way to deal with the Orc Disaster is to either have very overpowered armor or to have the ability to just 
Light range. Oh, he's breaking blocks. Oh, he is. He's getting himself into a hole. This is bad because if he puts me in there, I have very little chance of escape. Like flame, you're my only chance. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, gosh. Keep going. Axe. He's distracted. Keep going. Oh, no. Ah, he's running. I got him on the run. This is good. I have a chance now. With him on the run, he can't go straight through. He just healed a ton. He can't go straight. He's going through my armor now. All right, all right. I got him on the run. Gold apple, and I should be good. This should be my final push. I think I have this in the bag now. He keeps healing so much. He's eating other mobs. I'm so happy I brought a second set of diamond armor. Okay, I got him low again, but I have to be careful. He gets overly aggressive at the end, apparently. He has multiple phases, and this is showing how strong a boss he is. All right, keeping range. No, I can't let him hit me. He's almost destroyed my mask. I barely had enough diamonds to even have a second set of diamond armor. I, I can't deal with this fight again. He is way too strong. I definitely did not train enough. Here we go. Yes. Let's go. Ah, ah. We did it. The living disaster. Defeat the orc disaster. Starved. Hunger is a disaster. Demon Lord Seed. I have the Demon Lord Seed. And I have gluttony now. So I can go here. And I can look around in my skills. I see... I'm, I'm unlocking a lot. I'm getting far. I'm getting very far. Look at this. Yes, gluttony and starved. Uh, you want to go now? I, I am so much stronger than the last dragon of all. You, you can't even do anything. Black flame. Black flame. You know what? I'll keep going. I don't care. I, I'm too strong for you. You can't do anything to me. You're so weak. Pathetic. Ooh. Pathetic. For the next nine days, all I did was find villagers and kill them to get their souls to get myself one step closer to become a demon lord. I needed over 10,000 because I had the Demon Lord Seed and it made it a lot more possible. Because without it, I would have needed over 100,000 souls. Now, I only needed 10,000. Another thing I could kill and did find was Otherworlders. They would fight me all the time and I would beat them and get some more souls. But overall, villagers were the easiest just because you can find them in a mass. And, well, they just don't fight back. But you know what, villager? Black Lightning time. Hiya! Wait, what? Wait, if I use black lightning on a villager, it makes them a witch? What? Do witches give me souls? Yes, they do. So black lightning is still effective. Okay. So I can use witches too. I did not know that. I'm guessing pillagers work too? Since if, if witches do, okay. Well, good to know information. For the next five days, I ended up making a pillager farm. So it would make getting my souls a lot easier. I already had 562, but I needed way more so i made this pillager farm so now i could easily farm them getting them all killed at a time just one foul swoop giving me tons just in that one go over in souls in one attack so this would not only allow me to gain magic kills but it would allow me to gain a lot of souls so i'm able to farm up to become a demon lord a lot faster so then i can fight the next boss 7,454 now, along with my magic kill limit has increased a lot. I think it's hit a cap now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, until I hit Demon Lord. All right, I think this is it. I'm going to have enough souls to become a Demon Lord. Here we go. One foul swoop. Oh, my game's lagging. There it goes. It's happening. It's happening now. I have over 10,000 souls. I'm able to become a Demon Lord. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Evolution, Demon. Here it is. I'm changing. I'm getting stronger. <laughs> whoa, whoa, my screen. I can't see anything. This is crazy. Holy crap, my ears. This is cr- oh, What? You're kidding me. Endless generation? Regeneration? I, oh, wait. Oh, one, two, three. One. I have three million magicules. My power level, my EP. Holy crap. My souls reset. My generation, my regeneration went from self regeneration to ultra speed to endless oh oh my gosh this is insane look at my hearts right now i'm like 10 times stronger now this was definitely worth it all the way to day 90 i've been grinding this for a while honestly i i it's probably been a little bit further than day 90 but with all this grinding i i lost i lost track um so let's just agree day 90 <laughs> <laughs> probably like day 130 but it's okay because now i got two more bosses to do and then i got to get even stronger to become supreme deity rimaru after a few days i got myself at ebay's an active core with this 
I could fight him. I could finally go to the next step. And then I would only be one boss away from finally beating this and then being able to achieve supreme deity or godhood. But even with my insane amount of magicals and with the ability to have so many hearts, which they are compact right now, that's why it looks like I have a normal line. They are compact, letting you guys know so you don't think that they're just vanished, gone. But I'm, obviously, I'm not going to do it near my village or, or my goblin, you know, camp. I do not want to lose all this, but I came back for one simple reason. I needed better armor. With all the armor source scales that I had, I made some armor source armor and I ended up enchanting my weapon and my armor. After realizing the armor source armor was not going to cut it, I ended up making a whole set of hard leather. Now I, I went ahead and enchanted it all, but I did not get that good of enchants. But it's way better than nothing, along with most of these having unbreaking, so it will hold a lot longer. Now, my chest piece is the only thing I'm scared of, but I will go with it. If I have to make another, I will. Along with, I realized I had Shizue's sword. I did not know that it dropped it on my second fight. And it had the ability to be enchanted and get unbreaking three, sharpness four, and knockback two. Uh, the axe got very bad, you know, enchants, but luckily it still had unbreaking three, so it was able to withstand a lot longer, knowing how much it is already broken. So now I had a way better sword, along with high attack speed. I had full armor that was enchanted, and I even decked out Timmy. So he now has full diamond armor and a enchanted katana. So now it was time. I needed to find an area to fight the next boss. So on the way here, I ended up fighting some other worlders, giving me a lot of new skills. So if I go to my unique skills, you guys will see I have Berserker. So I'm going to switch out Black Lightning for Berserker for now. Also going to show you guys that in this tab, I now have Healer. I have Spearhead. I already had Great Sage and I had Analyst. But now I got another skill right here, belligerent. So with all these extra abilities, it will make this fight even easier for me and more possible, to say the least. So with all my abilities, I decided I was going to go ahead and put this core near a villager. Well, I kind of did something dumb. I accidentally used gluttony and ate my first core. So it gave me the ability to fly. So now I have gravity manipulation. So I can now fly. So that was not what I meant to do. I meant to put this down near a villager and let it blow up. So it will spawn in the next boss. Let's get away. Oh, there we go. It took a second, but I, I got it to explode finally. And now it is in this villager. So when I now kill this villager, it will release the next boss. Let's use She's Away Sword and let's slay the villager. Magic! There we go! Here it is! The next boss! Oh my gosh, it's doing a lot! Now it oh, it's spawning in its minions. I can use gluttony! Yes! I can just eat its minions! Oh, gluttony is so overpowered. With this berserker skill, I'm getting so much speed along with some strength. And on top of that, I have endless regeneration with my armor. I, I'm un I'm unbeatable. I'm already a demon lord. Not long and I'm gonna become the supreme deity. You can't do anything. I'm already able to fly. You have nothing on me. I even have an in. I, I even have an iron golem helping me. Oh, y'all think I can do anything? All right, you know what? Let's do some attacks, you know, and then gluttony. Yep, just like that. I just defeated your whole army. You know what? Let's, let's do some black flame to you. How, how do you feel about that? Yep, you know, I have so much magic kills that I could just spam it. What will you do? I am spamming it so many times. That's what I thought. You're weak. You can't do anything to me. Oh, we're doing an air battle, huh? All right, you know what? Do some gluttony consume them yes all right going in get some strikes in bet you've never seen a flying slime before oh okay okay wait we got more minions all right gluttony gluttony there we go consuming them more keep attacking man i love having over over seven million magic kills this is way easier than it was earlier from the orc disaster all right keep consuming it's it's underlings all right black flame all right this berserker is giving me a lot more damage on him Along with this sword. But he, he is very tanky. He is very unable to hit me. Oh, wait, no, he's been he's hitting me. Okay, so he, he's been able to hit me even with my flying. It's just I'm just, I'm regenerating too fast. Like, he can't even do enough. He has over a thousand hearts, and I am just decimating it. Doing over 30 a hit. Now let's keep spamming on him. Let's just, let's go all out. Sword and black flame. Let's go. I won't let you beat me. I, I, I'm going to get, I'm just, I'm already too strong. Like, bro, you can't defeat a demon. Let's be honest. Oh, 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 I'm on fire. Why well, have fire resistance? Can't do nothing to that. Boom. I've defeated the ruler of the skies. And also, ooh, what did he just drop? Oh, I get some scales off of him. And some, I get his meat, bro. Wait, pause. So I'm, I get to, I get to have his meat and I get his scales. 
So I'm guessing I can make some dope armor with this. But I've almost destroyed my chest plate already from, you know, it having thorns. So that was a very bad enchant. So I might honestly see what I can make with this. Oh, I can make dragon knuckles. That's cool. All right, so it's a weapon. Can't make armor out of it. So I got to be very careful with my armor now. I'll just have to hold a backup chest plate in my inventory at all times because now it's time to fight the next boss. But before I do that, I think I'm going to go ahead and get myself up a little bit further in magic kills. And I'm going to go ahead and go over 10 million so that I'm a full blooded demon lord and then I can fight the last boss. Well, it is day 99 and I've done it. I've become insanely strong. My power level is glitching. I am a demon slime. My max magic kills are glitching. I have so much magic, the game can't even process it. I think, I think it's fair enough to say I've become supreme deity. But there's this isn't it. I have to fight one more boss. The strongest boss in this game. But I don't even think they could do anything. They might be able to hit my, my hearts a little bit. But what is that going to do when I am a supreme deity? So... It's time to show my absolute full power and to fight the last boss. So here is the last boss. Even though I am all powerful, I'm a demon lord. I have insane amount of magic kills. I even got myself even more skills. I went through, killed some more otherworlders, got some traveler where I can teleport. I now have a couple of these new abilities. I even have perceiver. But even with all this power, she can still hit me seven times and kill me. So I'm going to go back my house grab one last thing that will give me a chance to win this fight yep that's right totems totems were the only way so now i can finally start this fight i can study the target allowing this to be a lot easier for me with my perceiver ability but now here we go oh i hit like a truck oh she hits like a truck all right i gotta i gotta keep my distance she is fast she is very fast i can't use my skill i can't use black flame all right berserker activated so i can't use magic near her because of the fact she has an anti-magic barrier oh oh what what is this what is that what I, I have to keep studying her this is well totems didn't even work she even started spawning an ifrit this this is insane totems don't work nothing i can all my abilities are not working i have to come up with a new strategy even though i'm basically as close as i could get to supreme deity without gaining every single skill and without wasting any more time i have to do one last thing there's only one more way i know how to beat her what i ended up doing spending days and days studying her i sat there studying just so i would dodge her attacks i spent over 30 days studying her i know i said i would only last 100 but can, can you blame me do you see how powerful she is i can't even hit her she, she's she's just taking all the damage i I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, let me get some wood really quickly. This is going to old OG Minecraft. Oh, my computer. My computer isn't liking this. Oh, she actually hit me. Even with all of the studying I did, with all of it, it, it still wasn't enough. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring her out. I'm going to bring her out more. All right, this this should work. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, get, get in there. Yes. Okay, I got her in. Wait, I'm not doing any damage. Oh, she got out. What? I got, I got to take this even more serious. Like, this is getting crazy. I, I'm going berserker. I, I can't do any damage. Maybe it's the weapon. Maybe it's the weapon. Let me, let me try switching. No, it, it does nothing. No, what? How? How am I supposed to do this? She is so powerful. There we go. Okay, wait. I'm getting damage in randomly. Yes, I think I went through her defenses. Oh, she's got him back up again. No, yes. Okay, if I just tank here and keep hitting her, it seems to get through her eventually. She just has so much of a barrier. It's so hard. Look at how many dodges I'm... Def oh, I'm, I'm dodging so many. I, I'm getting hit too, though. It, she's going right through. I don't I don't even know how many attacks it's been. She has attacked me so many times. I have to get a, I have to get so many hits in. This is the only way. I don't even know how many times I've been hit. I could die at any second now. She hit me again. I, I don't have much. I, I know I don't have much left. Please, I have to get her. There's no other way. It's now or never. Even with Berserker, this is doing nothing. Come on. Yes. Yes. Sit still. Sit still. Yes. Okay. That was there. No. She's defending again. Yes. One, one shot. She's one shot. She's literally one shot. There we go. Even though she went through all of my totems, my insane amount of magic kills, my insane regeneration, my insane amount of health even, even through all that, I, I had no way to defeat her. I had to study her. Studying her was the only way. Dodging every attack she sent to me was the only way i eat her i've become the strongest being i have went past demon lord i am now 
the supreme being i am supreme deity rimaru if you guys do like this video make sure to hit that like button subscribe put post notifications on if you guys want to see more videos like this if you guys do want me to do a thousand days so i can more accurately go through and show you guys me getting to this level honestly i want to go further than this if i do a thousand days because with a thousand days i'm going to go through the spirits more i'm going to do more grinding i'm going to get way more souls and i'm even going to get a higher magical and ep amount even though you see it's glitching i know i can go further than even this but that's that's literally all we have you know time for i i went past 100 days for this video just for you guys so please drop a like it, it really does support the channel and if you guys do want to see more and or have some suggestions put it down in the comment section but yeah that was 100 days as supreme deity rimaru i mean what else do you always say it's gonna be fusion bacon signing off i'm really gonna miss this world i put way too much time into this and all these totem bro i put way too much time into, and now i gotta delete bro i'm studying you bro i am too powerful you can't do anything bro why are you even attacking me